Hello guys, welcome to Geology Concepts. In this video, we'll start with the metamorphic petrology, and in that, we'll first go into types of metamorphism. In the in the upcoming lectures, after this, I'll cover facies, texture, reaction, mineral assemblages in metamorphic rocks, all those stuffs that uh, are important with respect to uh, metamorphic petrology. Okay. So, in this video, we'll deal with types of metamorphism. So, let's get into it. Metamorphic petrology. Okay. So, we, we, we will go into types of metamorphism. But uh, before that, we have to understand uh, what is metamorphism. Okay. So, from Greek word meta, which means after. And the morph means form. So, after form, metamorphism means, so, uh, mineralogical, with respect to rock, we are talking, mineralogical and structural adjustment of solid rock. See, solid rock is important here, okay, because if it is liquid, then it is igneous rock, all right. So, when solid, in the solid rock, due to some mineralogical and structural changes, now, mineralogical changes means chemical change, structural changes means physical change. So, physical and chemical conditions that leads to mineralogical and structural adjustment of solid rocks is called metamorphism. All right. Now, uh, there is a term called diagenesis. Now, diagenesis is used for sedimentary rock, but this is also a type of change in which sedimentary rocks get, uh, uh, means sed sediments get uh, uh, deposited and turned into uh, lithification during lithification turns into sedimentary rocks. So, to distinguish that from or to differentiate it from the metamorphism, we have a condition that all diagenesis takes place at temperature less than 200 degrees Celsius and at a pressure which is less than 300 megapascal. Okay, above which everything will be considered as metamorphism if it happens to a solid rock. Okay. So, this is the basic definition of metamorphism and how it is different from diagenesis. Now, we will go into types of metamorphism. So, oh, before that also we can understand grades of metamorphism. We all know that there are two types of metamorphism most talked about is one is prograde and one is retrograde. So, if there is an increasing grade okay, from uh, lower grade to higher grade. All right, then this is called prograde or progressive metamorphism. Okay, so, so for low grade temperature is around 200 to 320 degrees Celsius, which is you see is in this range here. Okay, this is low grade, and below this it's diagenesis. Okay, and high grade anything of for 320 degrees Celsius, if it is at higher pressure, it is at higher grade, and if the temperature increases, we again fall into the higher grade region. Okay, so this is how it is classified. You can see here the pressure uh, is increasing with depth, okay, and temperature is along increasing along this side. And at this boundary, here the rock melts, okay, and converts into lava or you can say molten magma. So metamorphism is only up till this region, this this border. All right, and uh, from here, so this whole region is the domain of metamorphism, and as we go from here till from to this side, the grade of metamorphism increases. Okay, so moving on, types of metamorphism. So in types of metamorphism, metamorphism first we have contact metamorphism. Okay, so contact metamorphism the necessary condition is that it should be adjacent to igneous rocks. They are actually adjacent to igneous rock and tract metamorphism takes place around igneous rocks and rock produced after metamorphism is often fine grained. Why it is fine grained? Because the process is very slowly and rock that shows no foliation. Why no foliation? Because let us understand this. Foliation comes due to differential stress, but in contact metamorphism, here you see, in contact metamorphism, there is no is involved here, there is only heat. So, if you can see this figure, this is an igneous intrusion, okay. 
Now this igneous intrusion is hot and uh, its heat is, is spreading in this direction. So this is the hottest uh, region and as we move along or opposite to this temperature decreases radially. Okay. So you can see temperature increases this side and decreases this side and therefore the grade increases as we move from outside towards inside and the outside rock is unmetamorphosed because after beyond this point the heat is not enough to cause metamorphism or let us say temperature is less than 320 degrees Celsius. So this is the lowest grade here and this is the highest grade at the rim and this is the igneous body. So this type of metamorphism is called contact metamorphism and the rock produced is often fine grain and are called horn fills. So mostly we call them horn fills. All right. So this is types of metamorphism. First, contact metamorphism. Next, we see is regional metamorphism. So in regional metamorphism, as you can see, it is accompanied by deformation under differential stress. Now, what is differential stress? There are two types of stress. One is hydrostatic and another is differential stress okay hydrostatic in hydrostatic the pressure is same in all the direction but in differential stress along one direction the pressure is maximum and in other direction it is minimum okay so this is for the regional metamorphism and in this case or, or this kind of metamorphism we get we get rocks like slate schist and gneisses Okay, I will explain this in detail when we talk about textures of metamorphism, but for the time being you must understand that uh, regional metamorphism gives rise to rocks like slate, schist and gneiss and uh, it occurs at, if you can see this figure in here, it occurs at plate boundaries, okay, mostly at plate boundaries and uh, contact metamorphism occurs at this region, these region where lava or igneous intrusions is coming out. Okay. So, at plate boundaries there is some heat here, but pressure is also so this is regional metamorphism. Next is cataclastic metamorphism. This is a very rare kind of metamorphism, not very common, but they are restricted to fault zone sliding. So, let us say if there is, let us say this kind of fault here. Okay. So, if it is in this direction, so at this junction here, there will be sliding and heat will be generated from friction. Rock slide passing each other will get mechanically deformed and crushed and pulverized. So, this type of uh, metamorphism or change in the texture and the properties will result in cataclastic metamorphism. You can see example this rock here you see if you zoom in this picture here you see here. This is due to the slight past slight passing of rocks against each another. This region is called cataclastic metamorphism or cataclastically deformed. So, this is mainly restricted um, fault zones. All right. Okay, moving on next we have hydrothermal metamorphism. Are altered at high temperature and moderate pressures are by the hydrothermal fluids. So, they are common in basaltic rock because see in basaltic rock there is no water or no hydrothermal fluid. Now, when hydrothermal fluid enters here, it reacts with the minerals present in these basaltic rocks which are devoid of uh, hydrous uh, minerals. Okay. Now, since basaltic rocks are rich in Fe and Mg, Fe and Mg. Okay. So, the final rock will be Mg Fe rich hydrous minerals and best example is talc, chloride, serpentine is also example and clay minerals, but the figure you are seeing here is of talc. Okay. This is a metamorphic rock with a hydrous uh, content. Okay. So, this is hydrous rock because of hydrothermal fluid entering the basaltic rock and causing metamorphism. Okay. Next is burial metamorphism. What is this? Uh, see, when sedimentary rocks, this is sedimentary T. So, sedimentary rocks at the depth, when it goes to a depth which is beyond uh, the scope of diagenesis, okay, and it goes below it, 
then the sedimentary rock is exposed to a region in which metamorphism takes place so the rocks or uh, the sediments that are in that zone gets altered and uh, show burial metamorphism and main minerals produced here are zeolites okay this is the signatory minerals or uh, this is a signature mineral for uh, uh, sedimentary rocks undergoing metamorphism okay then there is this last one called shock metamorphism and now this is also called impact metamorphism uh, this is nothing but uh, uh, impact of meteorite or comets okay so that meteorite or comets strikes the ground okay and form a cone like uh, a crater kind of uh, uh, structure in which there you can see see when the impact is there it generates a very generates a very high amount of heat at an instant and lead to the formation of mineral that are stable at high temperature mostly we see sio2 polymers or like coesite and stishoite okay now texture is shock lamellae uh, it is it is like radially going outwards okay that you can see also in the thin sections of the rock so this is this was all about types of metamorphism in this video and uh, in next video i'll explain what is that what are different types of metamorphic textures so i hope you got an idea of uh, types of metamorphism okay so uh, let's revise it uh, first first we have contact metamorphism only heat is involved okay uh, heat is involved then second we have um, burial met uh, no second we have regional metamorphism then we have cataclastic reformism which is uh, restricted to uh, that fall zones all right restricted to fall zones where there is sliding then there was hydrothermal metamorphism okay that leads to rocks called you know, like uh, talc and all then there is burial metamorphism as we see here then there is shock metamorphism these are the main types of metamorphism okay that are involved and we have also seen the grade of metamorphism from 320 degrees celsius up to uh, up to let's say it goes up to 1000 but 1000 uh, is achieved at a very less uh, pressure because at high pressure and at 1000 degree the rock will start to melt and it will move into igneous zone all right so uh, this is for this video i think you have got an idea of types of metamorphism please mention in the comment uh, did you get and uh, did you understand all the concepts and how you are liking my videos and in the next uh, video we will deal with the texture of metamorphism so uh, please subscribe and uh, uh, please do mention in the comments how you are liking it okay so bye for now thank you Subscribe to know your planet better.